What up? Sum of three consecutive odd integers. If the first integer is x, then the next one is x plus 2. Think about that for a minute. If the first one was 3, the next one would be 5. So, it's 2 mo, right? Next one would be 7. 2 mo in that. Well, that's 4 mo in the first one. So, we got x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 because we don't know it starts with 3. So, we're just going to leave it as x. It's an unknown. That's why we call it an unknown sometimes. Then we throw our little equal sign in for our is. 18 less than. We'll hold on to that for a minute. Then we got to do 5 times the middle number. Well, the middle number is x plus 2. So, 5 times the middle number. We got to put 5 times it. And then we put minus 18 because we're looking for 18 less than that. Right? Yo, if someone walked up to you and they said, yo, what's 18 less than 20? You'd be like, 20 minus 18. You would not be like, 18 minus 20 is negative 2. That ain't the right answer. Someone starts with 20 bucks, and then they say, yo, what's 18 less than 20 bucks? You got to tell them, 2. All right. So we got to find the three integers. All right, pretty simple from here. You just got to run through the typical steps you do for solving these kinds of equations. And one of those steps is to first distribute. So that way you can get your like terms. <coughs> and you're going to put all your like terms on one side and all your other like terms on the other. In this case, we needed to get the 5x out of the 5 times x plus 2 so we could do minus 3x eventually from both sides and then we only have x stuff on one side we push all x stuff over to the right side and we get 2x uh, the 10 minus 18 just became an 8 right so then when we saw a minus 8 on this side we did a plus 8 to get rid of it and then 6 plus 8 is 14 and now we got all our numbers on the other side or x stuff on the right side Alright, so what we do from there, we divide by 2, divide by 2, x is equal to 7. So the three integers are 7, well then 7 plus 2 is 9, and 7 plus 4 is 11.